Hello again everyone and welcome back to Programming and Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop. Today's video is going to be a continuation of our series on Access SQL or SQL. More specifically, today we're going to be talking about the update query. Now an update query is useful for when you want to just change one or two columns in a table and you want to change that information. So in our particular example, what we want to do is let's say that the company Microshell has bought out the other company, Metro Properties. And as a result, all of the addresses that these belong to need to get changed. So our foreign key here of customer underscore ID, anywhere, any address that belonged to Metro Properties needs to be changed to now point to Microshell. So here's what we're going to need to do. The first thing that we're going to need to do is go ahead and create a new query. And I'm just going to go ahead and go right into the SQL view. And the first thing that you need to do with a update query is use the keyword of update. After the keyword of update, you need to specify the name of the table that you want to make the change on. And that would be the table one addresses, because what we're eventually going to need to do is change this value here and this value here to be equal to six instead. Because if you recall, the relationship between table one addresses and table one customers is that the ID field of table one customers is the primary key to customer underscore ID. It's, it's the foreign key reference here back to table one customers. So you see customer underscore ID of one and three need to be changed to point to instead the six of table one customers. Hope everybody's got that. Okay, so what we need to do then is we need to update the table, table one addresses, okay? Because that's the, the uh, location that contains that row, uh, the column of information that we want to change. Next, we need to use the keyword of set. And in the set keyword, uh, after the set keyword, we need to specify the column name of the table one addresses that we want to make the change on. And again, that's customer underscore ID. We're changing wherever it says one and three, we need to change that to six. So we're going to set customer underscore ID, and we're going to change that to six. Now, whenever you're using the column name, if you recall, it's a good idea to use the full location name. So that includes table one addresses, the table as part of our declaration of where we're pointing to. So table one addresses dot customer underscore ID is equal to six. It's just a really good idea to include the table name as part of this. It's not necessary, but it is definitely recommended. Okay, now as it sits right now, if we were to run this query, we would be changing everywhere, every uh, row of table one addresses, we would change the customer ID uh, value to six. So that would mean that this value would be changed to six, this value would be changed to six, this would be changed to six, and this would be changed to six. And that's not what we want to do, right? Because not all of these companies got bought out by Microshell. Only this one and this address are now belonging to Microshell. So, what we need to do as part of our query is we need to come up with some sort of filter in here that just returns this row and this row. Now I'm going to use a join query to do this and I want to show you this because you'll notice we don't currently have any from statement and normally in all of our previous examples in our from statement is where we would also stick our join statements but here in an update statement there is no from Instead, you need to put it as part of your update. So your join statement goes in your update uh, clause here. So we're going to do inner join. Oops, inner join. There we go. We're going to inner join table one addresses with table one customers. And we're going to say that this is on. And again, remember, we need to uh, to talk about, we need to give it the foreign key and primary key relationship here, the customer underscore ID and the table one customer's ID field. That's our relationship between the two tables. So that's where we say, in, as part of our on statement, we're saying on table one addresses dot customer underscore ID is equal to 
table one customers dot ID. But that's not enough because that's just going to do the join statement. That's going to kind of give each one of these, uh, you know, e it's going to give us a result where all four of these table one addresses show the customers. But it doesn't filter it down to just those two rows just quite yet. So what we're going to do is we need to also include a where statement. So we're going to use where and now we can specify table one customers dot and if we look at the table one customers we can use the fact that customer name is the same in both of these we can use that to our advantage so I'm just going to copy that and customer name customer name equals and then in quotation marks Metro properties so now what we're saying here is update table one addresses with an inner join on table one customers on the values of customer underscore ID equal to table one customers dot ID we're gonna set table one addresses the customer ID field to six wherever currently table one customers dot customer name is equal to Metro properties if we just do a quick view of this here you'll see that it returns just the two rows and it shows me that customer underscore ID currently has a value of one and three and that's what we would see if we look at the table one addresses the customer underscore ID the two rows we want to change are here and here right so that's this row and this row now you may be wondering well if they've changed this entire you know address uh, information we're, we're changing over to microshell would the attention values be changed also maybe it's no longer Joe Schmo and Jane Schmo that would be the attention to and so let's go ahead and add that as part of our query so not only are we going to change this value for those two rows but we also want to add another value that we want to change and that's going to be uh, separated with a comma so we just in order to change multiple rows you're just or multiple columns excuse me you're going to specify them with a comma separation so there's one value we're going to change the customer underscore ID to six and then the other one we want to change is the attention so we need to change table one addresses customer ID equal to oops not the customer ID excuse me <laughs> attention right it's the attention value uh, field we want to change there we go okay and let's just make something up uh, let's say equal to um, boy named Tom there we go why not okay so now we're changing both this value so customer underscore ID is e equal to six and the attention is equal to boy named Tom now let's go ahead and run this I gotta go kinda a little different route here to do this there we go and if I click on run it's gonna tell me I'm about to update two rows click yes and now if we look at our table one addresses we can see customer ID equal uh, customer ID is now six here and six here and the attention value has been changed to boy named Tom so there you go that is how you do an update query you can see access after I went into the design view and back out it kind of reformatted it for me here but uh, just so you can see this it's really the same query just take that drop that down there and it added a bunch of parentheses where they're not needed and there you go it's the same query Okay, so there you have it. That's an update query of multiple values using an inner join statement.